Not all writers are created equal. And because of that, writing can sometimes be uncomfortable. But one way we can combat that is by changing our seat. Watching this video will teach you how to do so. We recommend that any repairs that are done on your bike be done by a professional mechanic. If you choose to follow this video and repair the bike yourself, we suggest taking it down to your local bike shop for a safety check afterwards. For seat posts, I have a climbing system using two bolts, such as this one. We're gonna use a five millimeter Allen key in order to loosen them up. They're gonna be a little tight, so just use a little muscle to remove them. You'll wanna loosen both of the bolts evenly. Once they're loose, you should be able to easily remove the seat post off of the seat rails, like so. Now let's get your new seat. Grab your seat post clamp and first get it onto one rail, like so. And then get it onto the next rail. Once on here, we're going to evenly tighten up both bolts. No need to crank them down yet, because we'll do that on our bike. Now let's put the seat post onto our bike so we can level off the seat and make sure all the bolts are tight. With your seat and seat post installed on your bike, you wanna make sure that the seat height is correct for you. And it's also pointing in the right direction. You wanna make sure that it's nice and straight with the top tube. You also want to check that the seat is angled properly. You don't want it to be pointing too high up or down. Uh, right now, from the looks of it, the nose on this one is a little high up. So I'm going to lower it by tightening the bolt on the front and loosening the bolt in the back. While changing the angle and these bolts are still loose, you can also bring your seat forward or back. You just have a little bit of play here, um, but I like to keep mine centered. Once everything's done, we can now tighten both bolts. You'll just want to tighten these enough so that the tool leaves an impression in your hand. Do note that you want to tighten the bolts evenly together, going back and forth between the front and the back bolt. Let's finish off by installing a reflector or other accessories you had on your seat post. For seat posts that have a clamping system using one bolt, you'll need a six millimeter Allen key and a Phillips head screwdriver to remove any accessory you may have on the seat post. If your seat post has a reflector, we're gonna use our Phillips head screwdriver to remove it. Let's place our reflector off to the side so that we can use it again. With the reflector or accessories removed off the seat post, we can use our six millimeter Allen key to loosen this bolt over here. You may notice that it's on very tight, so just do your best to loosen it. Now you want to loosen this just enough so that you can rotate the clamp 90 degrees and slide this off. All right, now let's get your saddle and your seat post so we can start installing it. You're going to want to rotate the clamp 90 degrees like so. Then we're gonna grab the seat post and place it onto the rails. If it doesn't go on like this, slide it from the back. Then we can rotate that clamp 90 degrees back. Again, if you're having issues rotating it, it's because this bolt is not loose enough. So we're gonna loosen it a little bit more. Once you have it in position, we're gonna snug up the bolt a little bit. Just so it gets tight enough. We're gonna finish it off by installing it on our frame. After installing your seat onto your bike, you may notice that the seat is now pointing either down or up. What we can do here now is change the angle and level it off. You want to loosen the, this bolt down here again and we're going to grab both clamps together to pinch the seat rail, and we're going to then rotate it until we get the 
desired position of our seat. Ideally, you want to have this either fairly sh parallel to the ground or with a slight little tilt down on the nose. Sure. You'll also notice that there's these markings here. With this, we can also bring the seat forward or back, like so. My seat is pretty parallel right now, and I'm going to tighten down this bolt. Make sure when you tighten it down, when you tighten it enough that it leaves an impression on your hand. Now that we have our desired seat angle, along with making sure our seat is either centered, back, or forward, we're also going to make sure that the seat is now at the proper height. We want to do this because our seat is now thicker than our last seat. So we can do that by loosening this bolt down here on our seat post clamp. If you do not have a bolt and have a quick release lever, you can just open that up. Bring it to the desired position, usually about right where your hip bone is. Before we tighten down this bolt, we also want to make sure that our seat is perfectly aligned with the top tip of the bike, nice and straight. And then we're going to tighten that down. Now that you have your seat installed on your bike, you're going to want to give it a test ride. Well, there you have it, guys. That's how you install a seat onto a prior bicycle. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us. Our information is at the bottom of the screen.